So yeah, topic today is going to be events and things that we can do in our communities to increase our networking. Why would we want to do that is one, you never know where leads can come from and you never know what business friend I like to call them that you'll make who eventually just loves talking with you um, and will be kind enough to send people your way, right? The right. more people we network with, um, when someone talks about real estate, if you're the first person that pops into their head, whether you have badass marketing or not, doesn't matter, right? Um, but if you just take the time to have that conversation with someone and keep it consistent, right? You are, we will be that person that pops into that person's head. So with that being said, um, there's different levels that of networking that we can do. The first basic level is just with our neighbors and people in our neighborhood. And so it's really important if your neighbors don't know that you're a real estate agent, like they need to know, bake them a batch of cookies, go deliver it on their front door and say, hey, you know, just being neighborly, um, want to introduce myself, my new career as a real estate agent. Uh, and if that's your first time talking to your neighbors, maybe don't bring up the real estate agent part, just introduce yourself as a neighbor. But if you know them already, right, then that's when you can upscale that conversation to like, hey, I got this new opportunity and uh, I just want to let everybody know that I'm here to service our community you can spice it up and if you want and I recommend this if you do do something like that is to type up a little script and email it to Marguerite because she's so good with her words and she'll like make it sparkle you know <laughs> little Marguerite sparkle on it and so um, that's one of the like immediate ways that you can do that I actually, I went to this event um, last week and there was this guy who was talking about one of the most memorable um, marketing tactics um, that he has experienced before he was a real estate agent. And there was this other realtor who put his flyer on um, a paper airplane and then folded it up like a paper airplane and then just flew the paper airplane into people's cards. <laughs> And that guy, he was like, I will never forget that. And, you know, I, if I wasn't selling at the time, but I never forgot that guy, or at least the paper airplanes story. So that's just um, the point of that is just to be memorable, right? If you do, you could do some, something thematic for like August, you could do back to school. If you know people have kids at their homes, you could do like um, a coloring book, right? And you don't have to spend money. You could just handwrite cards and like drop them off. But that's one way that you can be engaging with your neighbors. And that's just one way to fall in love with your community. What the stigma of like that real estate agent, that salesy, pushy person um, is out there, right? And they do exist. Um, however, uh, we want to get away from that stigma, right? We want to do everything we can to get away from that stigma. And how do we do that is we be authentic. So we have to show up and we have to talk to people. And it's not just about getting clients and leads. It's also about being there for our communities. People will then tell their brothers and their sisters who aren't in the industry, but who might be looking for a house, right? Oh my God, you have to talk to this lady, Claudia. She's the most helpful person in the world. And, and that's where you can start. And building your community strong within your local market is literally what everyone preaches. Of course, I am not the expert. I'm just sh I'm sharing with you some of the things I've learned from Marguerite and Mitzi. And, you know, I've worked with real estate agents and developing their businesses over the last year and a half. So even though I haven't practiced these things, I know what successful agents are doing, right? And so, you know, include Marguerite in this. So that's kind of the first basic level market of just trying to reach out to, at first, your neighbors. Or if you get coffee at a cafe every day, talk to them, you know? Um, and it's, it's not about giving out your business cards. That's the pushy salesperson side, right? It's just about getting to know people, maybe getting their phone numbers, but being authentic, showing them maybe what your interests are um, and just getting to know people, right? So the next level of networking that you can do is business to business. And um, this is important because you never know if there's like an awesome lender who wants to send you leads out there not saying you should go to every lender and say, hey, you know, uh, what's going on and try to work with them. Um, but what you can do, for example, in Mitzi's building, there's um, a mortgage company here, Lighthouse Mortgage, right? And he does loans and he helps um, Larry, right? He's also an EXP agent, helps Mitzi out with Lincoln Live. And um, there was this random guy 
who came in looking for business space for um, to rent an office for, I don't know his, I don't even know what his wife does, honestly. I think she's like a hair salon person. But the point, he was networking for her. And even if you're not looking for a room for rent, you can still go into other places and just ask like, hey, are there available office spaces here? Um, not even saying that you're looking, you could just be inquiring about your local market, right? Now, if it's not office spaces, because I know that's commercial, you could acquire about, um, hey, like I'm a real estate agent, just getting to know the community. What's your favorite restaurant? You know, and then you go, what's your name? And then you get to know them and who they are. And then maybe you stop by next time you walk by that area. Hey, just saying hi, you know, how you guys doing? And just get to know these people. The more you, that you build your relationships with the local community, the more that people are going to call you, reach out to you on Facebook, uh, refer you, right? Not as a real estate agent, but as a good person. And that's what we're going for, right? Um, so that's the second level there of like business to business networking. The third is social media. And it's, you're either a social media advocate or you're not. And I'll tell you, I am not a social media fan at all. I am trying desperately to be better. I honestly think that Mitzi is the social media queen, um, but she even like doesn't even think she's great. So the point is, I think, is that you never will think that you're great unless you've got like the 30,000 followers on Instagram and you know you have that ego. But we're all just striving to be better at social media because we all know one way or another that that's the way that the world is going. We can't ignore it. Even if we have some type of effort, it's better than nothing. And, you know, if you've had no social media, you know what that feels like. And so um, you do feel kind of have the FOMO coming out. But things that you can do on, on social media to reach out in your communities is look for if there's any local pages. Now, if you already are on things like Facebook, you might see, um, like, what, what city are you in, Claudia? Antelope. Antelope. So you might see people of Antelope Facebook group um, or moms of Antelope. There's a lot of mom groups out there that are really great to engage with. Um, but search for the local groups and just try to, one, join the group and then make your very first post. Hey, I'm just here to be a part of the community. Um, I'm excited to check out this page, yada, yada, yada. Be friendly, right? Um, and then once you do that, take notes and start putting these people in your database, right? That's the most important thing is to follow up with th those people, but not through social media. Try to go to their place of business. Try to go to, um, if they do, if you know they constantly do like events at a high school or something, try to show up there um, and just be present. Odds are you're going to run into them. Every, no, everybody lives in a big town, but when we break it down, everybody lives in a small town, right? We all have our like neighborhoods and or the high school surrounded by school districts, something like that. And so that's kind of that third level of networking that you can do to really get your business started. I'm going to, bye. I'm going to open up the floor to questions um, or maybe I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for your own personal networking right now. I've actually um, haven't done anything this year because like I was telling you earlier in the process of moving, mm -hmm. um, I did not want to spend too much effort in trying to acquire clients uh, and then have to leave them halfway through or, you know, just invest too much time and money um, yeah. on something that I would not see the, um, the labor, the fruit of it, that sort of speak. So when are you planning to move to North Carolina? Um, by the end of August. Okay, perfect. So that gives you a month right to start looking in the neighborhood that you're moving to start finding those Facebook pages if you have to start familiarizing yourself with just start with places to eat look on your phone search google maps put it in your zip code and just search food and then find the restaurants and just have those in your head that you're going to reach out to them or like make it a point when you move there already have a game plan of like today I'm going to explore my neighborhood and while you're exploring and having fun, like have a drink, whatever, meet a guy. <laughs> but, um, you know, while you're doing whatever you're doing, just take note of like the places that you're going, the people that you're talking to. I don't know if you have, do you have your CRM like on your phone, like in an app where you can just add people? Uh, yes. So I recommend doing that, right? We want to use our CRM as most we can. And then later when you're working on a Monday, then you can go back and be like, all right, these are all the people I met this weekend. 
let's put in the details of where they're at, right? Because you don't want to be doing that while you're on your phone, like while you're walking around, right? right. And so th those are things you can start with the social media now, is you can start with trying to find local pages and just say, you know, be honest. Hey, I haven't moved there yet, but I'm moving to the area. I'm so excited to get this to know this community. Um, start there, and you'll probably have a lot of people who just immediately say, "Hey, welcome." Um, hey, do you have kids? You know, people usually when you post things like that on like a private page, they want to get to know you. That's all I have. Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's awesome. Um, a couple of instead of business to business networking in your local market. Just want to remind everyone that whatever um, local board of realtors you are a part of, sorry, association of realtors, not board of realtors, um, that you can go there and or to their website and they will have tons of resources for not only events that they put on, but they'll do a ton of networking events. Check out their event calendar and at the bare minimum, just start there and um, I don't know if, you know, people on this call are kind of new starting out like I am. I am literally brand new. I started yesterday. Um, or if they're more like Claudia, where they've had their license for how long, Claudia? Or have you been with EXP? A year with EXP. A year with EXP, but now you're moving market. So it's almost like starting over again, starting right? Over, yeah. Right. And um, Jennifer Sims, I don't know where you're at necessarily with, you know, your networking. Um, I also don't know who else is on here, the, the phone. But um, if you're not networking, you should definitely start, right? It's something that immediately brings our game from zero to 100. And it's not necessarily going to drive business now, but it's going to make a huge impression. And it's going to create that long lasting relationships that we all are going to need as a real estate agent working in our communities, right? No, so I wanted to say something. Yes, please. Can you hear me okay? I'm driving right now. Yeah, you sound good. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, I, one way of networking for me is, um, you know, how they send out a friend, you know, they suggest, you know, certain friends. So, um, you know, if, if the person that they're suggesting, I don't know, if we have like 30 or more common friends, you know, you know, I'll, I'll look at them and of course they're in real estate. Um, and I think when, you know, more the merrier as far as real estate, you know, it's just meeting people, um, in real estate. And so I've added a few, a few people as friends, right. And what was interesting this afternoon is, um, I got a phone call and it went to my voicemail. They didn't leave a message. And I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to call it, you know, see who it is. So I call it, and it's this guy named Marcello. And um, he's like, hi, I'm Marcello, and you added me on Facebook. You friended me on Facebook. <laughs> and I was kind of taken aback because no one's ever done that before. He said, you know, I was just wondering why you wanted to add me. And, you know, I just told him it's the way to get to know more people and network and and um you know we talked for a while and you know he knows Mindy's name you know he knows who she is and we're going to go out to coffee next week and so he works with EXP so it's just another form of networking and you know even making new friendships as well so that's one way for me you know, to put myself out there. That's pretty incredible. I love that story. I love that that guy reached out because it's like he was kind of suspicious of you at first, but maybe not because he saw you were e with EXP, I hope, right? Well, I was suspicious of him, which was a funny thing because I'm like, who's, you know, he's like, yeah, you uh, friended me on Facebook. I was so taken aback because no one's ever done that before. Like, he took that extra step, you know, to
Uh, not that I'm interested because I'm already in a relationship. Kind of cute though. Um, <laughs> that aside, um, it was it was an interesting experience, and it touched me in a way that you know not too many people do things like that, and and you know make that extra step and go beyond. I really really liked it. Like now, I really just like to go out, and chat with him over coffee, and learn more. And you never know what's going to come of that conversation, right? He could be, you know, a wizard at, you know, social media and trying to launch his business. And you're like, oh, I need that. Let me, let me be your first client. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And another thing that's ironic is he started talking about a property in Lincoln that's supporting the street. He was involved in that, um, in that listing. And I had a buyer who put an offer in on that property so we have that in common so instantly you know it, we had you know the same you know experiences and we were able to talk about it and the house needed over a hundred thousand dollars worth of foundation work alone so yeah it was, it was just something that it was so wonderful to experience that and that made me want to do that for someone else you know, someone friends me and, well, you know, I'm going to call them, see what, you know, see who they are and chat with them, you know, I love that, it inspires me. Yeah, and that's part of what we do too is you were inspired by that, I'm inspired by that story that makes me want to, you know, kind of, that sounds reckless in my opinion, but be a little reckless, right, and just like <laughs> go after someone, it's, it's, um, it's aggressive, it's exciting, but I, I love it, you know? I, um, I'm gonna share a story I got, and I haven't gotten any leads from this guy because we just had this conversation over the weekend, but um, I had some guy message me on Facebook and say, hey, I saw you in one of these like training videos and uh, would love your help, right? And so I was like, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd love to, you know, see what you got and help him out. So we had like an hour conversation and I helped him. And then at the end of the conversation, he told me that, um, cause I told him I just got my night license in Northern California, but he's licensed in Oregon and Montana. And so he said, if he has any Montana people trying to move or Oregon people trying to move to Northern California, he would love to hand me that as a listing and he'll represent them, um, you know, or as the, as the buyer and he'll represent their listing, right? And so um, I'm excited. I don't know if it's going to come out from it, but um, that's another thing of, it's not social media. I mean, it was a YouTube video, but um, I just started making YouTube videos within like the last six months and already I got people kind of messaging me and, and getting a hold of me that are strangers, you know, and <laughs> it's, it's weird, but it also feels good that I'm kind of, I'm having that reach and that's, um, that's, you know, motivating me to think that like, okay, when I do actually start marketing myself and building out my Facebook page for my business and, and whatnot. Um, I'm going to be excited, right? Because I, I kind of know what works. I know engagement, authenticity, some videos are great. They show both. Um, all of that is, is kind of, it's kind of working. And this is coming from people that, you know, social media is not our thing. <laughs> it's not my thing. It's not Marguerite's thing. Um, but, but it's, it is still exciting. I don't, I didn't really have anything else tonight. I know it's a little bit shorter than what Marguerite would have done. And so um, I thank you guys for joining just to get some content ideas. Marguerite's always got things she wants to talk about, but sometimes she asks me to, if there's something specific you guys are struggling with or would like more help on. I do remember like six months back, Kelly Zimmerman did this uh, best phone apps to use. And I really, really love that one. Um, so we can bring that back if you guys want to do that. But if there's any other ideas, speak now. Oh, yeah. Please. I would love that. We can do that next week. Um, that sounds good. I, I missed that one. I think it would be a good refresher for one anyway. All right, yeah, that ladies. Well, terrific. Thank you so much for joining. And um, we'll catch you next week for best mobile apps in the real estate industry. <laughs> All right. Thank you.